This is a spooky doot demo on how to install and use the DH programs as programs rather than presets. That's what I'm trying to demonstrate here this evening, and let's see how this goes. Okay, so what I'm going to cover is I want to talk about uh, different things. First thing, you got to understand the difference between presets and programs. Hopefully you know that already. A, pr a preset, the DH presets, is a self-contained thing in the presets tab, and they're ready to go. You load them in a generator and run them. Programs, however, programs are just frequencies and names. So that way you can run, you can combine a bunch of programs together with any given shell you want or however you want to handle that. And we're going to look at that in a second. So the first thing we're going to have to do is we got to download the CSV file. Then we're going to move them into CSpooky2. Then we're going to add them to the custom presets and we're going to verify them there. That's what we're going to do in this demonstration. So let's get to it. So over here, first we have I sent this to myself. Here is my DH412 CSV. It's in a email, which is the easiest way to do this. I'm going to download it. I already have one. doesn't matter. So it's going to, yes, we're going to save it. So now we have it on our downloads. So now what do I do? Now what I do, hopefully, is uh, as Explorer, File Explorer, so here we are in File Explorer. I'm going to go look in Downloads, and here's the two that I have. I'm going to take this one. The way I get this in the Spooky, I'm going to right-click on that, and then I'm going to do a copy. Actually, I'm going to do a cut. I want to actually move this. So that's the difference between cut and copy. We're going to cut it, and then we're going to go to my C drive down here, because i got to go find Spooky, and here he is in Spooky 2. So I double-click on him, and there we are in the Spooky directory. Anywhere on the screen, I can right-click on it, and I can say paste. Now I have this somewhere in here. Um, I have this uh, this DHCSV there, and uh, da, da, da. anyway, it's in here somewhere. So we have d downloaded, we have copied this over here. We hope. All right. So now it's in here, like I said, somewhere, but I don't know where. Uh, there it is. It's not sorted. So th this is now in the C Spooky Two directory. Now let's go over to Spooky. So let's go into Spooky, right? Okay, here we are in the Spooky. So how do we get this into the Programs tab? Because it's not here at the moment. To do that is actually pretty easy. Once we've got the CSV file over here, we click in the database, and we say Select Custom Database 2. We're not going to talk about any of the other options at the moment. We're going to put this in Database 2. And then it brings up Spooky 2, and then we're going to go find this guy right here, DH412. That's what it's called. Say Open. So it's going to read this. It's going to take a minute to do this, not too long. Uh, so it's going to load all the stuff, and then we'll be able to get to the DH presets here. Okay, it has arrived. Can we see it? That's a good question. Let's do a search. Well, let's let me show the presets. Here's the pre the DH experimental presets, and if we look at remote, here's all the different ones in here. So um, I have a tooth problem, so this one is near and dear to my heart at the moment. DH00112. So here it is. I mean, we can go take this and we can load it in, but suppose I want to run this on something else. I, it, I can chain them together. That's a whole different video. But suppose I want to create a sticker of them, which is an entirely different scenario. So I'm in here. So we go into programs. And if I do a search on 0012, and it found a bunch of things with 0012 in it, but down here near the bottom, because it's going to be in here, there it is. So I can now load this into a program and do whatever I want to it. And I, if I want to load 1.3 on there, I can do that. Whatever it is. That's, I got dementia from the tooth problem. Um, if you want to just look at them, they're actually in the custom database. So, so over here on the right side, if I, de if I deselect all of them, I'm only, I have nothing. I select the custom database, and here it is in there because all I'm doing is searching the custom database now. Now this is everything. This is a brand new system. So the only thing in my custom database are the DH ones. But they have to, they ends up in the custom database here. So that's how you do this. Hopefully it's straightforward enough to where you can see this. If not, you can always email me or text me or whatever, and I'll answer questions for you. Back to here. So that's the demo. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you find this useful. Um, this will be up on, uh, on my... YouTube page as well as my private stuff and in my YouTube page I'll put a link to the actual uh, uh, DH 
412 CSV. So if you want to download it from there, you can. Thank you very much for watching.